welcome back so let's play Dragon Quest 4 boat 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 got a boat 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 didn't think this would come back did you okay so with the boat we can go pretty much anywhere but they did say to head to Mintos which isn't far it's just kind of right there south across the across the strait see you call it Mintos and now I kind of hate it the fresh maker exactly I think I know this place Conrad Ilton? Folks call him the god of trade, you know. But I'm leaving y'all. You can keep my horse later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest. I was starting to wonder when he was going to leave. Mm -hmm. Because we mostly got the horse to cross the desert. And then after that, it was kind of a... Well, I mean, we have a horse and carriage and... He's just kind of hanging around? I mean, you keep saying carriage, but that's being kind. It's basically just a wagon. Yeah. So, honestly, I've been wondering where, where you were going to leave off for a while now. Uh, keep in mind that, uh... Oh, you said no to him. Oh, I did? Yeah, you accidentally hit... You were on yes, but you must have hit the cancel button. Oh, um, yeah, that must be what I'm doing. Like, I'm on yes, going, I'm telling you, yes. In the original NES version, he actually doesn't leave until after you take care of the stuff here, but mm. in this version, he's just like, you don't need him anymore. You literally have no need. You of got him. Tornico. Yeah, you got Tornico. You haven't gotten to a fight with Tornico yet, but... I guess we should go talk to him. Oh, but he's a hero to all the traitors around here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Foreign priests, you say? Hmm. Is that a right old state? What he, no, what he needs is some fever few fruit. Blimey, if you could get some of them old salad, you'd make a fortune. Do you get why the English don't like it when we do this accent, I? Alright, so, we gotta go get a thing. And then sell it and make a fortune. Exactly. Let's go down that road. Yeah, well! Because you get a mini metal. Oh, yeah. See, you finally found finally, something. Finally, I found something well. else in a well. Besides dysentery. So Hoffman was kind of reminding me of, um, I can't remember his name now. Ramus. Ramus. What's it? It's R A M U S. Ramus. From Lunar Silver Star Story. Where, like, he joined you at the start of the game, and he's like, yeah, we're best buds. We're going to go on an adventure. But after, like, one adventure, you're kind of like, you really don't feel like an endgame party member. And I'm not really sure how this is going to be handled. And then eventually he leaves, and you're like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Gotta break all them pots. I remember when this came out, we were still playing Final Fantasy XI, and there was a part in Windurst where there was just a, there was like some teacher teaching a class and like nobody was paying attention and it reminded me exactly of the setup the guy's doing down here mm. it's like the same thing he's got like a chalkboard outside he's got a teacher's desk they got seats there and it's also on a raised up platform and it just always reminds me of that for, for no reason just like yeah that's like the only place of Windurst I remember for some reason <laughs> just that one outdoor school that has makes no sense whatsoever <laughs> All the Lalafells are learning from a teacher or something. Oh man, they got a vacant room. Yeah, this is the home to Conrad Ilton. I didn't talk to this cat. Conrad Ilton? I get it. Yeah, there we go. Did you get that everything is literally a pun in this game? <laughs> I want to go in and talk to the rest of you. There's nobody. In, there's nobody next to you. <sighs> Sounds like the greatest Hi. thing to do. 
that you got here like several minutes ago. I mean, yeah, if you make people happy, they're cough, more... Cough, cough, literally every CEO in America, cough, cough. I mean, if you do that, if you make your customers happy, then they're more inclined to come back and buy more from you. Yep. Let's talk to this, uh, this Conrad Hilton. That's a lot. Okay, let's talk to him again. Ah, uh, Huggy, we'll you, gotta say say, no. you gotta say no. With that H. Sure. Huh? Huh? I think it's like literally the only thing you say in this entire game. I didn't say anything though, exactly. and that's the beautiful part of it. I'm a silent protagonist! Oh man, a treasure map! So I know this treasure map does lead to something fancy, and we're gonna not worry about that right now. Uh, we will not get it until like three fourths of the way through the game. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's above our pay grade right now. Use so we're just gonna. The time is right. So we're just gonna put it in here. Uh, you can use it on the world map, and it'll put a mark on the world map. Which you might do anyway, just because. Yeah, I mean you might as well. Let's see. Here's the stage. Okay, we got that. We got that. Okay, so I got the stage. Uh, what else is there in town? There is a scale shield. I have in not been in either house. of these houses. Yeah. There's a house furthest to the east as the scale shield. Haven't been in this one either. I mean, apparently it's apparently it's shut your yap and just let business go about. Yeah, apparently it's just be befuddled. I mean, apparently that's how we learned from Tornigo's chapter. It's like, yes, we're a weapon shop. Yes, we'll buy anything. Yes, you can buy anything. I don't you just hit you yes a it. lot. Yeah. You're a child. Oh, so he got sick and somebody came and gave him some special medicine. Hey, a bookshelf. Oh. We should probably read something on there. Nah. I guess not. Okay, so, scale shield. I don't think anybody can use that. Like, it's worse than whatever thing we got. Oh, we can also get new items here, too. Yeah, so... Let's go check out what them shops have got. That's an item shop. I don't care about you. Weapon shop's got the quartery sword. Uh, let's see here. So, don't care, don't care. Oop. Don't care. Good. Wow, even upgrades for Tornico. And, okay. Ooh, that's expensive. It's a quartery sword. I mean, I, ha I have the money. What kind of armor do you sell? Come on, dude. Should have full plate armor. So, nobody cares, nobody cares. Full plate is better. Nobody cares, nobody cares. And, and I could buy two of those. Yeah. So, I don't know, just buy everything you need here. Yeah, so buy one of these. Well, Give it to you. can also wear it. Well, yeah, but I'm buying one at a time so I can give it directly to them. Oh, okay. Why aren't we fancy? Because then they have it equipped and it's easier for me to tell what I have to sell. And then we can buy this, which I can give to the knocker. I think how it says on here, you give permission to Hoffman to leave, and it's like, we're, we're just waiting for you to leave, what the hell, man? Like, I, I wanted you to leave. I didn't want you to come, I just wanted your carriage. <laughs> and then I can buy two Connor swords. I got the money for that, crap, yeah. I mean, we're starting to dip into my reserves. Oh no, that means in between recording sessions, you'll have to go back to the casino and just like at break that shit in. At some point, maybe. And 
I'll buy another one and I'll give it and give it to guy and get the guy. Give it to you. All right, so we have fancy things now. We and money. Do. So I can steal this uh, steel broadsword. That sells for a lot, especially if you give it to Tornico to sell it. Yeah, hey Tornico, can you? Uh... Three thousand, nothing less. But sir, that's that's like a thousand more than what we sell it for. You heard me. <laughs> well, it is Tornico who's selling it. So. He, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, okay, so I have new helmet, so I can get rid of the golden tiara. And I don't think I need the scale shield. No, you don't. I only wish there was an easier way to tell. Okay, so I can get rid of you. I only wish there was an easier way to tell when something was good for anybody. You're gonna have to. Okay, so I can sell the abacus. No, I would keep the abacus. Oh, it can be used in a as a tool. You though. can cast it. You can cast puff, uh, poof with it. It, like, it technically works off the whack thwack uh, accuracy chart, but it just expels all the enemies from battle. Hmm. You don't get experience or money from it, so. Just mostly when shit's gone bad and you're like, get away from me! Yeah, that equip page is kind of, kind of weird. But yeah, there's just no nice way to go like, hey, I got this scale shield. I guess I put it in the bag. Just have Tornico examine it. You can literally go over there and just... It gives you a new option, because Tornico... The praise. Well, I'm trying to find, like, if there's a good way to tell... He tells you you can equip with it. Yeah, but it doesn't tell me if it's better. I just want a quick chart. Oh. It's not better than anything you got. Trust me. So, like, almost everybody can equip it. But there's no good way to tell that unless you, like, drag it into everybody's inventory. Or you use the freaky equip screen. But that's just no, I try. That That freaky equip screen is freaky, man. You're, you're just not getting freaky back with it. Which is my terrible line for this Let's Play so far. Okay, we're good, and I'm not completely broke. We haven't been in here yet. This is, I'm assuming this is Conrad Ilton's place. Oh yeah, and there was that one, uh, that yeah, foreign... Yeah, they mentioned a foreign priest being around here. Uh, well, that princess sounds familiar so far. And a princess, too? <gasps> That's I know that old man! As you are seeing, my traveling fellow is very... Oh, wait, you, you do the Russian accent better. Um, I don't know, man. Everybody liked yours. Everyone liked my Irish ogre, so... See, I'm not good at a lot of accents, but I, I feel confident that I can do at least an entertaining Russian one. <laughs> And give to her some assistance? Like, I like the little bits that like yeah. that. I sure will. I'm gonna help her so much. I will also accompany with you. Yay. I just, I love this grammar. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> hey, he's now, not doing so uh, yeah, hot. He's currently afflicted by a, a fever of some sort. All right, so we got to go help him out. Yeah, but first, there are pots and things we can smash. Hey. hey, is he a wisdom? Ooh. That makes you smarter and more smarter and makes your spells hurt more or cure more. Hey, we found chapter three already. Alright, time to zone out for a minute. In a cave nearby, 
here somewhere. Well, from wherever he's at. Dude doesn't like caves, whatever. There's always so many goodies in caves. What if it rains? You can't just put a table outside. Get a little umbrella. There's no umbrella, though. You have to... It, Naka. Move, lady. Lady. It's, it's an NES RPG. You have to imagine the umbrella. And now we have Boria in our party. So we, we do! We can, we can literally have, at this point, three mages, or two mages, and a god about in our party. Or, if we really wanted to, we could have a god about and three mages, because we don't even have to be in the party. <laughs> Which is hilarious. And a little wrong. Yes. But whatever. Uh, yeah, and also, uh, it's, it should be... We haven't gotten into a fight. We really need to upgrade his shit, too. Wow, look at... Did you see Boria's defense? Well, I mean, he's a squishy mage. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done any fights with... Tornico yet, but he's basically just the god about class mixed with the merchant, which means that you can hit attack. There ain't no guarantee he's going to use that attack. Okay, so I just want to see what if we can get anything for Boria. Oh, I didn't even have to have him in the party. I mean, he can't equip anything anyway. Yeah, they don't really sell a lot of stabs for magic users. Don't know if we get good iron armor for him either. Nope. Well, he's just stuck with whatever we had last time. So anyway, we got a head. So neat thing about this game is you can actually change your character lineup, like swap out characters in the middle of fights. Yeah, doesn't take a turn either. Yeah, like if you're fighting it and you go, oh dang, I need some ice magic. Bore you get in here. Um, so. I'm probably going to be running around with kind of a generic party and then being able to swap in from there. And my generic party is, of course, healer, followed by I need some kind of strong melee. And right now, Tornico is the best we got. I need a healer. Which is Mina. Which is Mina. And I need a mage. And right now we can choose between fire and ice, pretty much. And right now... Um, I'm gonna stick with Maya just because she's a little less squishy. I just like the fact that somehow Boria has like used a spell at some point and hasn't rested up. Look over his MP. <laughs> like I don't remember when that happened. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that one. So now we are going eastwards, I believe. Oh, um. Unless you want to do so. So we got first. the treasure map. Oh yeah, the treasure map. Here's the thing: we didn't even have to use it, and it marked the map for us. Yeah. Which is hilarious. You might have used it in town. Nope. Sure didn't. But yeah, that is something for way later in the game from where we're at now, so. Alright, so we can get back on our boat, or we can just hoof it by land. But we gotta go somewhere. I'm gonna go down here so I can map out this a little bit. Map out the world. And Look, I, I like can. having the world mapped. That's a lot of metal scorpions. Man, if only I had some ice magic to take care of them. Oh. Um, he has no battle magic. You can sizz him. Or sizzle them. Yeah, you know what? Let's try sizz, and if they, like, heavy resisted or whatever, then we can bring in Boria. Well, they sled pretty quickly. I mean, that's good. <laughs> Eh, that's decent damage. Yeah, that's actually pretty good damage for That's assist. average damage. So what is Tornico doing here? I live to see what his first move is. Oh, he <laughs> just wasted a turn. Turn it, Tornico. Ow. Through ice at Maya. Nope. So, funny enough, funnily enough, is it... Is it an ability that Tornico gets later on? Oh, he decreases MP by nothing. Oh, man. Are you talking about stealing? No, I mean, is it an ability that Tornico gets later on, or is it one of the random chances from his attack where, like, a whole bunch of guys show up? Oh, the merchant? Yeah. 
I think it's a random thing to do, but from what I understand, I don't think he does it in this version. I think it was only an NES thing. Hmm. Hey. Getting them levels. Tornico leveled up. He learned whistle. And that means that you can just stay put and go, and then monsters will attack you. Which is perfect for metal slime farming. Wink, wink. <laughs> ah! And probably what he's been... I imagine that, like, he's getting attacked by monsters all the time because he's just kind of whistling to himself while he's walking down the road. Ah! <laughs> like, what the crap? I can't just walk down the road. Just trying to whistle a thing to him. Hmm, that's a lot of... So I'm actually not going the right way, but I wanted to map this out. Oh, if you're going to where the X is at, yeah, we, it's literally a mountain range. No, I mean, I mean, I know it is, uh, but um, I was going around it. Yeah. But I that just means I'm going the long way. Oh, there's no, there's nothing bad with that. I just like mapping stuff out. I want to see the world. See the world, man. Rough. Dang it. I think my favorite part is just looking at the map here. Yay! And just seeing, like, wow, you actually missed a shrine we could have hit up to. I'll get there eventually. Well, it's like right here. Yeah, I haven't even been there yet. I'll get there eventually. But, um... I should probably turn around, actually, instead of going up this way. I'll just go back down. But I just like how it's just like, there's the hills here. And I keep thinking it's like, well, now I'm kind of stuck like you, or thinking it's like, God, we have to go, like, literally go all the way around and then come back around here. It's like, oh, no, wait, it's just hills. We can walk past. <laughs> like we I don't know what it is about hills that I go, I can't walk over that. Crap. <laughs> look, at how, look at that hill. Oh, no, he tripped. Oh, if he trips, he does But he critted him. Yeah, he does an automatic crit if he trips. Good job, Tornico. He can actually also steal, and it's the only hey. way... It's the only way anybody can steal here. We can actually go in that. That has. Yeah, I just wanted to map out one spot to the side. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Dang it. Nope. Skeletons don't sleep. Nope. We're skeletons. We're undead. What do you think it's going to do for us? Look, I can hope, all right? How's that hope feel? One point? Not bad. Oh, he actually attacked. Oh, thank heavens. Oh, keep in mind, you can actually use your item as does assist. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Probably better than him attacking, to be honest. Oh, for Tornico? Considering... Well, I mean, again, you have to also keep in mind, he could just, like, not do it, so... Uh oh Man, Tornico, why you gotta... I, I like you, Tornico, why you gotta be this way? Because he's trying to keep the party spirits up. You know what, Tornico? You're all right. You don't get it because they don't have the party talk feature, but he basically says that if you talk to him every once in a while, he goes like, I kind of backed like this because I feel like, you know, the party needs a laugh here and there. Get wrecked! So oh, he... wow. That's the AoE one, too. That's not the single target. That's... Yeah. That's that's a thing! I said Sizz. I didn't say Frizz. God. Pay attention. I'm talking about fire, not fire con. <laughs> Look, I'm still wrapping my head around the naming convention, all right? <laughs> yeah, it's sizzles. It's a bunch of teleportals there, which I'm surprised you don't really talk about a lot, considering it comes up so important in Dragon Quest Builders. It f it feels weird going like, yeah, it's a teleportal. I know about them. You get them all the time. You go to all the places. Might want to like swip the map around because they ain't seeing the teleportals. Yeah. Well, I'll just do this. Uh, that too. As you can see him up top there. So you can, like, if we could get through there. We but we don't have a there. key for those yet. Dang it. I'm so. gonna need to get a key. The guy did tell us where that one place is we need to go to, so. I was not even paying attention to what he said. He's just basically telling us that Empire thing's to the south. Well, I'm, I'm working my way there. If everything would stop attacking me, Tortico, stop whistling. Hey, you know what? You know what? Friggin... 
<clears throat> I mean, it saves you from casting, sis, so that's more MP for you to use. <clears throat> These birds gonna burn! We eating chicken tonight! As <laughs> a feel when three of the four party members can cast Sizz? Tornico trips while he's casting Sizz. Critical hit to everyone. They didn't add critical spells till nine! <laughs> How does that work? Oh, actually he did do that. I mean, he does not one target, but still. I mean, well, he didn't. Could you imagine that for a Metal Slime? He goes like, wow, he really is canonically the best Metal Slime <laughs> killer. Move over, Metalina. Yeah, we did it. <clears throat> hey, hey, it's a town. A castle. And it's just in time to be daytime. An imp! Get him! But real quick, before you go through all that, um... What am I waiting? Well, I was kind of hoping. I, I want to see if it does anything. I mean, we'll see. Oh, I killed it. Nope. I want to see if it does anything. You kill him. Oh, well. He died. Yeah, he did he that did, he, pretty well. He did that. Uh, I just want you to know that that imp actually had Kaboom, Kamikaze, and Thwack on it. That's rough. But you know what the problem is with it? He literally doesn't have the MP to cast him. Oh. So he'll, like, a, he'll tr attempt to use one of those things, and it goes like, but he doesn't have the MP to use it. Oh. Alright, well, I guess we can... I guess we should stop by and see what's what. You know, for a big castle, this it's is It's funny, kinda... because it actually says he has zero MP, so he literally has no MP to cast anything. You know, for being a big castle, this is kind of a... Yep, apparently. Podunk little town. Got the even king just... Wandering around out here in the fields. Yep, once you go asking around town here, they basically say Ooh. that uh, we had a crop that came in and then it died and then we lost all our money. So he's poor. Okay, well, I gotta break everything, then I'll go talk to everybody. Listen, liter that seed of magic is literally like one of two things you can get in this town. Like the other thing is like three gold from the king's place. I don't think that's worth it. I mean, you're gonna get it anyway, but. Yeah, just, just a little. <laughs> okay, so you're the innkeep. In. Yep. That's rough. <gasps> Alina was here. Three men with her, what? I seen her call a knight, a traitor, and a rough-looking fellow, too. She maybe. got another party! Yeah, maybe she put together a party. Marmaduke. Mo. Name's a cow, Marmaduke. I mean, that kid, apparently. Oh, it's a scarecrow. That is a realistic looking scarecrow. Yep, they even got the flesh of a dead man on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that the guy that, whose daughter's under, uh, who's working for Conrad? Mm hmm. Remember, she was saying that her father was a traitor? I was only kind of paying attention. Yeah, whatever. Not caring about lore and RPGs. How dare you? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, they they only have an item shop. I mean, admittedly, some of it is I have a headache. Oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm <laughs> messing with you. Don't worry about it. So reading is pain is physically painful. So I should stop slapping you in the face. Slap, slap, yes. slap, slap. And for the record, because we record in sessions, I've had this headache for three videos. Ah. So there's some seeds somewhere, but currently monsters are kind of guarding the whole thing. That's bad. Man, that's a fancy palace you got here, guy. Man, they are up on some hard times, apparently. I mean, you do what you gotta do. I don't know how sturdy your income is when you lose one crop and this becomes of your kingdom. Really? Like your entire castle became a straw hut. I'm starting. I'm very concerned here. Like, like how bad is this really? Okay, so we still gotta go places. Which we'll probably do next time. Do yeah. We have time for that? I don't know where we're going. Is it down here? It's it's down here. It's 
like, you should be seeing it here. If the monsters don't attack. I mean, you know. Ah, uh, Ims! Get them! Kill them before they try to do anything futilely. Oh, I didn't die. Oh, I never, never mind, he died. Hey! Probably you. Yep. That's I learned evac. That's good, because you need to be level 13 for this place, and now you're level 14. Goody. Okay, so there's our cave. And now I have mapped out this whole section down here. So, until next time, everyone. Oh, I could go for some buffalo wings. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, the ponds are too much. Ah. Uh, I should have cast a bang. Dang it. They got two out of three. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Uh huh. You also need to sleep at that place, too. Hey! Go get him, Tornico. Let's go again! Burn him! Roast mushrooms! Magic mushrooms. Oh, I just got that. Since they're mage mushrooms. Getting that level up. up hey. Level up. Okay. Okay. So as I was saying, before I get into another fight right now, get in there. <laughs> Where's the entrance here? Until next time, everybody. We're gonna go down there into that cave, and we're gonna get that stupid seed, so we can come back here and get some root. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll find Alina. Along yeah, maybe the way. we'll run into her. Man, that's gonna be great. Till next time, everybody.